Oh, yeah. Well, guess what time I went to bed on New Year's Eve? No. 10.30. Uh, I didn't even make it till 12. I think I'm getting too old. I don't no, know what I, it is. I, I, no, no, I don't think you're getting too old. I think you have a routine I that you're accustomed to. I guess, I guess. Carla I goes to bed at 8, I, 8 o'clock. I think mm-hmm. it's weird for an, anybody to yeah, be in bed yeah, by 8. Yeah, it's one of the good healthy habits, Joyce. Well, FYI. <laughs> what, I, I wake up quite early as well, so don't forget that part. Okay, okay, okay. Give me credit. Uh, well, some credit to Carla. <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome to the health station. We're going to be fast this time because we don't have enough time, and there's a lot to talk about for 12 months to go. Now, I am here to open this conversation about, uh, for those of you who are, already on social media facebook or instagram you would already know what the topic is about today we are focusing on goals for the year i know it's very cliche it sounds very cliche saying you know what are your goals for new year and i'm not here to say that you need a new year to make changes in your life and become healthier or happier i mean i always encourage setting goals no matter what time in the year it gives you a purpose gives you a focus and it's kind of a backbone to organize yourself now it's very important for you to take this opportunity not just because it's the new year, but I just figured it's an, it's a perfect way to start. Where do you start from? You want to have changes in your life? You need to set up a goal. So that's how you start. It's an opportunity to reflect on where you are, um, at where you want to be in your life. So use this new year as a chance to look back at the past year, learn from your mistakes and move forward. Once again, you can do that tomorrow, the day after. It doesn't have to be January 1st. It could be in a month, whenever you feel ready for a fresh start. Now, I'm sure you're all ambitious as much as I am this year, and I hope that you're all focusing on your health uh, as one of those ambitions. And it could be physical health, mental health, spiritual health, all kind of health. Joyce, which health are you focusing on this year? Financial health. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because with financial health comes mental health and physical what? health and spiritual health. It's so true. I every, every, need, other, I uh, every, that, every other health is no. just really mm-hmm. healthy. But should it come at a price? No, no I can't sell myself for nothing. Exactly. No, no. S- no, financial so, health is just so I can keep buying wine. Now, you, know, uh, <laughs> you know, for whoever doesn't know you, they would really think you're a drinker. You don't drink much. You're... Your yeah, connoisseurs. exactly. It's suave <laughs> in wine. <laughs> no, I mean, no, definitely. I mean, money does make a big, it does play a big part in your in your health. Definitely. Absolutely. If you have enough money, you can eat healthier. You can uh, pay the medical bills. There's a lot, to, but uh, I wish I could talk about money today, but that's not what the show is about. But, but you <laughs> see, you, you couldn't avoid it because also mm. um, on your topic, many of the challenges that people face is money related. Yeah. Like if, if we gave people five million US dollars, we could practically wipe away 90 percent of the problems. But this is if people use this money wisely. The uh-huh. problem with human nature, I think we're going to deviate from the topic, but uh. I still want to talk about it. OK, the problem with human nature that. We've, we don't feel we n- we never have enough. Which is a if problem. If I give a yeah. p- whoever, it could be anyone, including myself. I've never tested myself yet. I wasn't. I haven't received a million dollars to see what I'll do with it. But I always say, if I receive this big amount, I'm not going to spend it. Someone all. should invest. test me. Let me even see what I'll. Yeah, do let's with test it. Joyce. You know, <laughs> test Joyce. Make her your guinea pig. A million but dollars. then again, today we're talking about more things that are within your grasp. Things even financially. Mm-hmm. How better are you going to organize your budget? Are you going Are you going to go in debt? So you remember most of what, what, what everybody's most callers said last week was remove, keep my debts behind and start yeah, fresh new. You remember? True. Absolutely. So if you want to do that, you need to do something about the way you're spending your money. Maybe uh, reduce the, expe- the level of expectation of your lifestyle. Then there's nothing mm-hmm. wrong with being humble. You don't have to have the latest car, the latest phone, the latest watch, the latest Absolutely. shoes, the latest bag. That doesn't... Just know that you're not identified by what you wear or mm-hmm. what you, you drive in. It's mainly who you are. But then that's really something that we as human beings and social media doesn't help much as well. You know, when it comes to yeah. being satisfied with what you have and being content. But today we're focusing on goals, as I said, that are within your reach. And one of them could be money. financial Absolutely. stability, Absolutely. saving money. I'm going to save 10% of whatever I make every month. This is one goal, and I should have added it, but I didn't think of adding it because I am going to give you and share with you uh, what are goals that I used to set, and they got me to where I, I am right now. And goals my husband, my kids, my friends, whoever it is I could see are goals that are realistic, and so this is what we're going to talk about. It's a list of things 
that I and many people have done on a regular basis to stay healthy. And it does help. It could be a mini goal. Once again, I'm not telling you to, if you're a smoker, I'm not going to tell you stop smoking as from tomorrow. It could be very difficult for you, but I could tell you to add stuff to your lifestyle that would help you eventually wean off and, you know, reduce the amount of smoking you, 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 you do every day. So it's all about adding little things. So we've got 12 months ahead of us. So we can maybe set a target of 12 mini goals. So I'm going to sh share some with you. And uh, let's see where we take it from there. 0700-993-993-993. I will be taking your calls to see what you have to say, what goals you have set for this month or the next month or the, you know, 12 months to come. There is always enough time as long as you don't procrastinate. And for many people, they need to be held accountable. So maybe sharing these goals with a friend, with a group of people who also are sharing goals and you know, checking up on each other once a month maybe to see where you're at with your goals. That would be good. That would be a good way of encouraging yourselves. So that's what it's going to be. I will be taking some calls. I, also, I already see it blinking already, but um, let me... Let, ready? Yeah, let me just take this call. Okay. Hello. Good afternoon. It's happy New Year. Happy New Year. Reduce the volume, oh, please. Well, okay, I'm taking for Koboko, man. One and only Koboko. Mm-hmm. I have set a goal, yes. only two goals for me to achieve. Tell me. One, mm. trying to see whether I go travel to China uh -huh. to import one machine that mm. is five million so that it can make me to employ another 20 workers, adding me, expanding my factory to 40 workers. Okay, that's that. Two, yeah. Two, I have been taking a rujeje, a rujeje, four satis every day. In What's days. that? What's that? Rujeje is all these bitters. What they say is to enter for Mama Bajina shop. Go take one shot, seven times before I go work. So I want to receive oh, it from, bitters. Yes. from three bitter. to number one. Are you hearing me? Like bitter leaf. Mm -hmm. uh, no, not bitter leaf. Every day they take something like ash on bitter. Mm. Why, are you, it? Why are you taking it? Why are you taking it though? No, no. I just, Is it I like tonic? Women. I know they pursue women now. I, ah. I know they smoke. I know they pursue women. I know they smoke. Even that one. Are you telling me, say, I'm not going to take one shot yet. I say, man, is it what you're telling me? Well, keep taking it at this point. Keep taking it if you need to. <laughs> anyway, thanks for so calling. I'm taking, you... I'm taking one more time so that I can share my eye. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Well, you sound very ambitious. I didn't get your name though, but good luck for you. Let's 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 take it down a notch though, right? <laughs> let's let's not go think of China. I mean, that's great. You want to plan China, then plan a budget, start saving. That's one way of doing it, definitely. Um, one very simple thing that I would propose, very simple, yet very underestimated, and I'm sure Joyce will agree with me. Number one, drink more water. I cannot tell you how many people I see every day drinking soda water, soft drinks, all these, all these juices, processed juices, uh, um, sweetened yogurts, saying, ah, but this is liquid, it will hydrate me. No, nothing will come and replace the purity of water. I carry a bottle with me wherever I go, except in the studio because we're not allowed to. Yeah. But I do carry a bottle with me wherever I go. I don't wait for myself to get thirsty. I drink just a few sips every few minutes. And that really, for me, I feel I need like a, a big bottle a day, at least, if I don't sweat. And I'm not going to give you the rule of thumb, which is you have to have your eight glasses of water a day because this is a myth. It all depends on you. It all depends on how many fruits you eat, how much stew you take in. The liquid can come in from other sources, not just water. But having this habit of drinking water has, has a big impact on your health, on your headaches, on your concentration, on your skin, on so much. And many people underestimate water. So I would suggest if you're not a fan of water, start incorporating water in your daily habits. Start with half a glass extra a day then go to one glass extra i'm not telling you have a whole bottle the minute you so you start your um, your goals so that's one way of doing it so you've got number one drinking water number two i would suggest and this might sound like very general but it's really very simple eating more vegetables and fruits now you might ask your ask yourself how am i going to eat more vegetables and fruits very simple you're having stew and swallow and that stew contains a lot of leaves green leaves instead of having a a cup of stew have two cups of stew so that's one way of incorporating more vegetables fruits same thing you'd feel like a snack instead of going to some 
I don't know what kind of snack you have in mind, just go for an extra fruit. One fruit a day, one extra fruit or one extra cup of vegetables, chopped vegetables, that would make a big difference on a longer run. I promise you that. I mean, if you think about it, if you're having one extra fruit a day, you've already increased your fruit consumption by around 360 fruits in a year. That's brilliant. That's though. good. But wait, Carla, when you say stews, what do you mean? Because stew for us here might be a little different from what Soup. I don't know. So like a, you, like a vegetable soup, vegetable, oh, okay, great, great, great. Uh, yeah. all the kind yeah. of stews you can have with your swallows. Oh, Usually great. in ni- the Nigerian diet, there's a lot of vegetables oh, put in. Okay. So that's one way. If you don't like them raw, have them cooked. Mm-hmm. There was a caller, but Partly they gave cooked. up. Anyway, 700 I would love to hear what you have to say about your mini goals for your 12 months to come. Any goals for you, Joyce? Yeah, I want to get back to working now. So I started last year, mm-hmm. but then I started stop, started stop. Mm-hmm. So I realized that as I get older, I don't want to say my body gets softer, but I'm losing losing muscle. Yeah. I've realized that I'm losing muscle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I thought I thought it was unusual because mm-hmm. I've always had muscle because I've always played sports. Exactly. So what was your what was baseball? Your sport? I used to oh, play, yeah. I was nice. a I was a softball player. Heard that people? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so mm-hmm. uh, sprint and softball. Nice. Now, I, I I don't I just think that my body's not what it used to be, mm-hmm. so I need to get back to work and yeah. I prefer the body with the muscle than the one. I mean, I, I'm not without muscle, but I'm not You don't you feel know. as fit as you yeah, used to be. Yeah, I don't feel I mean, it's I normal if you've reduced the amount of exercise. Workout. And that's one of the goals I spoke of. It's oh, working out a little more. Yeah. Once again, it doesn't have to be hitting the gym and paying expenses fee, expensive fees for mm-hmm. uh, personal trainers. You've got loads loads of videos on YouTube. I don't go to the gym myself. I work out from my room. Oh, okay. And I can tell you, you can find a lot of workouts out there. Absolutely. You can start with 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and take it up to mm-hmm. 30 minutes. Let's take a caller. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Oh. Please try again later. 0700 L- Losing muscle. So apparently mm. that's a new uh, discovery. That yeah. You get older, if you don't work out, you lose muscle. Because your then metabolism goes down. Yeah. Your metabolism is not as strong as it used to be. So you don't burn as much as before. And also... Y- in unconsciously, you're not moving as much as before. Thank you. That was exactly what mm. I noticed. Mm. That I, I don't move. Now I have a car. So you yeah, know, there I we go. Uh-huh. Yeah. She has a car. <laughs> well, no. She's so not going to be w- moving much then. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> but moving. that's true. That's and unfortunately, in Lagos, it's very difficult to move around without a car or transport. Yeah. It's yeah. not as Convenient. organized and convenient very as true. it should be. Hello. Good afternoon. <laughs> Good afternoon. Oh, yeah. Come on now. Can you hear us? <coughs> the volume of that your was radio. Strong. Please, that. volume, volume, volume. Oh. Make it easy for us to hear you. Please reduce the volumes of your radios. Hi. Hello. All right. We're going to have to skip that one. Can you hear us? Okay. Go ahead, Carla. Okay. So we, you did mention exercise. That's yeah. one thing. And that's one thing I feel many people f- find difficulties incorporating. Or maybe they start for a few days and then they just stop. Go back. Let's go back to that later. Let's not wait for... Okay. have people waiting for us hello good afternoon good afternoon good afternoon oh hello? please radio yeah. volume 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 down 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 thank you very I'm much up. I'm yes. up the radio. how are you fine happy, happy new, new year. year happy new year my yes hello? happy new year where are you calling from i'm calling you from uh Shibiri, you know Jolo okay right. go ahead Okay, you see, these things that you people are just discussing there, mm-hmm. uh, it's only made by some some average people in Nigeria. Because uh, somebody who has up to five children cannot able to use money to be buying vegetables and food to eat. Yeah. To feed the family. Uh, okay. Because of the, the hardship in this society now, yeah. most people don't find it, dif- most people find it difficult mm-hmm. even to eat. Mm. So it will see that all those those things is only made for the for the rich men. Vegetables. But I don't, I don't agree no, with you. No, I don't you. think so. No, no, no. I don't agree with it. you. I can tell you for a fact that it is very affordable for you to go and buy corn on the cob or grilled plantain yes, or yes. banana or go to those melons who cut for you the melon in many pieces. You don't need to buy the full yes, melon. Yes, yes. It's not, it's not like that. Mm. The way you see it, the way yeah. you see it is not the way the average person sees it in Nigeria. Mm. I'm telling you. Okay, okay now. You, okay, let's, okay, for example, now you have three kids. What so about you? I, let's take you. Aren't you and I like the average people in Nigeria? 
I don't know. Maybe you, maybe you may be than me. I don't know. But I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, you, forget I'm, me. Because most of you will see me as maybe because I'm Oibo. I'm not from this uh, country. But I've lived here all my life. I can tell you I have friends from all, all, all walks of life. The fact that life. she says she's lived here all her life. She's so a Nigerian I can, who's... But yeah. it's fine. Let's take you, for example. You. Can't you go for an extra banana a day instead of buying, let's say, a bottle of beer mm-hmm. or going for a, I don't know, whatever it is. Exactly. Just, I mean, you eat every day. So you should say change your food options rather than See. carbohydrate, have vegetable. Hello? Yes. yes. Hello? Yeah. Uh-huh. It's not that to eat all those things is no good. Mm. I'm talking about the finance. To finance yes. Those, 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 yes. Because I it, agree it with you. That, uh, somebody, if you use that, uh, Two naira mm-hmm. and buy rice. Yes. Buy yam. You mm-hmm. can feed your family. Yes. So you can can you use two naira buy only vegetable and food. To yes, you can. Food. No, but it's not you enough. You need to buy rice. You need to buy yam. I'm not saying depend, no. Depend, depending on, on on the money. If, yes. If, if, if yes. you are paying two naira in the month. Yes. Your salary is two naira, and you're mm-hmm. having three kids. Yes. So how can you spend? How can you spend two naira to 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 the transport? Going My dear friend, okay, I've listened to you now. Listen to me, okay? All I'm asking you, instead of putting one cup of stew, which has, let's say, ugu leaves, uh, sweet leaf, bitter leaf, whatever, these don't cost much. Actually, these you can even grow in your backyard. Exactly. Just so you know, okay? You can always add an extra cup. This will not cost you 250 naira even. It won't even cost you 100 naira. Even if it's hundred naira, yes. and not I believe, so I believe now. that in this, in this Nigeria today, where that there is no ugu of hundred naira now, yeah. the one I put mm. is, uh, is about hundred naira. Can you yeah. grow? Can you grow but it? You can grow it easily. You can no, grow it. Yeah, how? How can ah. you grow it? If you don't have a landlord, if you don't have money to buy a land. Okay, you tell me. You tell me. What would you do? What would you do if Instead. I told you, I am right. asked? What would you do? That's why I told you it's only made for the big men in Nigeria. Mm. No, I don't agree no, with you. No, no I don't no, agree I, I, with you. No. It's not made for the big man only. We s- Nigerians are still eating local Nigerians' food. The big men are eating westernized food, which is the food that we can't afford. The They're going what for... Is huh? What is local food? What is local food? You tell me local rice. food. Rice? Of course rice. Uh, beans. Yes. Uh, rice, 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 beans. Uh, yam. Yam. Plantain. Of course. Uh-huh. Yes. You know you know, you don't know, you know, you know have the same plantain now. You don't know, have the same plantain. Least, now. Uh, the Five pieces of plantain now. Five pieces true. of plantain now is one thousand naira. Yeah, Five but you can find you can find a b- full bunch of bananas for around four hundred naira. Naira. I cannot use banana. I cannot buy banana to my children now. I Why not? Buy Why not? Children. Why can't you buy okay. banana? I will buy banana, I will buy banana one thousand naira. Then give them to eat to sleep. So tomorrow morning I buy uh, I will buy vegetable again. Come on. No, you can buy banana uh, now. Banana is actually has more nutrients than plantain. And it it's is one of and it's heavy. It is one of the superfoods. So your and problem is you need to swap. Give your children uh, rice. I'm not telling uh, you don't give them rice, but uh, uh, maybe maybe your salary is up to four hundred thousand. That's why. I all right. Okay. Like thank you very all right. much. For thank you for away. voicing your opinion. Ooh. Sorry, I, this is all. It's it's we're turning in circles. But honestly. Whatever I'm telling you now, you can always find a way to incorporate extra fruits and vegetables. I'm not even talking about meat. Meat, I agree, it's become very expensive. People are going for cheaper options. But fruits and vegetables, come on. Tangerine, all the local fruits. I'm not telling you go for apples, go for grapes, go for berries. These are not local produce. You will find, you will find and you will find a way to add at least one fruit or one vegetable. Even if you have a family to feed. Let me give you an example. I know people who are complaining about the budgets and they go spending a lot of money on instant noodles, let's say. Or on soda drinks, let's Mm -hmm. say. Instead of paying this money on extra sugar on your kid that will not even help your kid grow Mm -hmm. properly... Don't spend that money on that uh, soft drink and buy some fruits and vegetables instead. You will always find a way. I'm sorry. I, I completely disagree with the last caller. But thank you anyway for voicing your opinion. That's what Nigeria Info is about. I have my opinion. You have yours. But the fact is there can always be a solution if you try and eliminate and work on a budget. And it's all about planning in advance planning in advance and budgeting you will find prices that you can afford i'm not telling you to go to the 
big brands. I mean, Joyce, do you agree with me or so not? 100%. Actually, I think he misunderstood you and he mm. kept reemphasizing the fact that vegetables are only consumed by rich people. No, they're not. I'm sorry. They're not. And I think what you all you've been trying to say the whole time was make healthier choices. So of instead course. of buying noodles, for example. Or soft drinks. Like instead of, yeah. Don't tell me that even the most, the, the, Sorry, I don't like tagging, but even the people on the, who are on the most limited budget, I see them buying soft drinks. Yeah, very true. So sure. they can replace this with what? Fruits. Absolutely. Which gives them more nutrients yeah. and the same amount of energy and that that's really your body you're needs, saying. basically. Yeah. All right. Hello. 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 Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Go ahead. Okay, my name is Olawale. Hi. Uh, thanks for calling. Happy New Year. Thank you. Yes, okay. go ahead. Uh, I'm listening to your uh, program. I must say thank you for the help. Thank you. What this many Nigerians say to realize is that uh, the things that are so useful to our head mm-hmm. are not as expensive as one of us's problems. Most of those things that we think we want to do, they are, they are the most expensive things. For example, I go to the which I live in my house. Yes. I don't have a plot. I just planted it in a paint bucket. Mm. And I tell you, when it is fresh, I, 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 I can take it and eat with my family. Yeah. These are small, small things that the Nigerians can develop a bit of pain, rather yeah, than always going for the expensive. Many 100%. Can't food, can't make, can't that. I agree. Expensive. I agree the with you. The ones are way better for our head and they are cheaper. If only they think it was. Thank you for the program. Thank you for calling. And the one point I like about what you just said also, you might maybe pay a bit more for healthier options. Let's say you want to pay a bit more. But at least it saves you expensive medical bills if you're eating very unhealthy on a longer run. You really need to look at the bigger picture. You're investing in your health. You need to understand that even if you go a bit more in terms of budget, Think of what goodness would come to you instead of just eating food that has no nutritional value whatsoever. You get sick and who's going to pay for your medical bills? It's a give and take, but it's, I'm really oversimplifying it here. I wish I could sit with you and, and you know, assess how your budget is and work on, on it. But trust me, you can eat healthy on a budget. Don't let people make you think otherwise. It's, uh, it's about you getting out of your comfort zone and understanding that, Healthy food is still there. It's not out of reach. You just need to know that you need to uh, cook maybe more and not buy ready-made food. So that's one way of saving. There are so many other ways. You can go on my Instagram page. There's a whole thing slideshow on uh, eating on a budget. So at Balance with Carla. Let's take all the callers. Hello. (laughs) All of them. You don't have time, Carla. Hello. (laughs) Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes, how are you? Go ahead. Yeah, my name is Gilbert, calling from Ubu State. Thanks for calling. Go ahead. I really enjoy your program. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Thanks for calling. Yeah. So, um, my contribution is that, you know, before I used to drink, uh, you know, two bottles of uh, beer before. Yeah. That time. I used to drink good Japala. I would spend, uh, drink two bottles of beer, even three. Mm-hmm. But I realized that uh, I can't see, you know, my body is not uh, normal. So I now use, uh, now stop it. Yeah. When I begin to use, uh, you know, vegetable, mm-hmm. if I want to cook, you know, I will say, okay, I will order, buy vegetable, like 300, like Google vegetable, and buy uh, maybe three cup of beans if yeah. I want to do porridge. So when I begin to use it, now yeah, I begin to, you know, to change my my system. You know, I begin to eat food with vegetable, other things. You know, yes. My body begin to change. If you look at me now, yeah. I look like younger every day. No, I'm great. actually clapping for you no, right now. Good. You are an I example. So you are an now, example. I'm, from now, I'm not uh, drinking anymore. So I prefer, even if it costs anything. From even I planted the for my near my near my house. Yes. I planted the I always wet it. Even people come from another place and they take. Come and cut my, <laughs> and cut my wow. So I, I join it. I plant um, um, Italy uh, the stick. So everything I've come up. Well done. Every day before I, before I go to work, I work it. 
when I come back in the evening, I wet it. Well so done. I have, uh, I, I have lots of uh, vegetables well around uh-huh. my house. Just change it. You need to clap. No, I, I, I totally Seriously. agree. Like, just this is exactly what Colin is saying. Just change it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank thank you. you. Well, well done. You're an example. You, you are an example. Thank you. Shall we go for another call? One Hello. More. Let's say, yeah. Ah, uh, finally, madam. Oh, good sorry for make to make. Sorry for making you wait. Oh my God, I'm no sorry. problem. Thank <laughs> you. All right, very go much. ahead. Let's make it quick. Your name. Now? This is Nigeria Info. Um, <laughs> Joyce. Good afternoon. No, your voice here. does count, even if this is Nigeria Info. You are yeah. one of our listeners, so we cherish I, you. Trust I, me. Ma- madam Kella, happy thanks for New calling. Year, Thank you. Go ahead. Thank God we made it. Uh, yeah. My own case. Mm. I like banana. Mm-hmm. I like vegetable. Mm. But the gen I have can't power my fridge. And you know vegetable uh, soup. If yes. you keep on warming it every day, yeah. you will lose the taste, right? Mm-hmm. And the banana, I noticed, uh, the thing don't last more than three days. Yeah. You will see some, you know, the color would, and you won't like the taste anymore. That's true. So I don't know what to do about that vegetable of a thing. I like eating vegetables. And my woman is no more that he will be keeping it every two, two days for me. I'm not yeah. a bachelor. You know, I lost my wife. Yeah. Oh, I'm All so, right. so okay. sorry about yeah. that. And sorry. I have boys. Those boys don't have time to go and yeah. do all those things. Mm. So I don't know what do I do for that vegetable soup of a thing. All right. Well, some, Thank I mean, you. it's so hard to, I mean, when the food is cooked, unfortunately not, it doesn't have to last more than two days in the fridge. When one, it's already cooked. True. Um, one thing I would say is freeze, but then again, we have a gen problem. But you can also dry the leaves, from what I understand, in some stews. So I think his issue is that he cooks it and then he tries to keep it refrigerated. But yeah. the fridge is bad, so he has because to keep warming gen. it. Yeah. It just appears as though the only option he has is to cook the food now, eat and it eat now, it. Yeah. wash the pot now. Yeah, that's he has it. To cook it I'm, I'm really sorry, but... This is the problem we face sometimes. Yeah. I mean, you don't have constant nepa. I mean, we used to call yeah. it nepa now. <laughs> yeah. But it's it's sad. Uh, it's sad. It ma- doesn't make it easier. I understand. I really understand your frustration. But mm. thank you so much for sharing. I'm so sorry for the other callers. I'm being kicked out of the studio as I speak right now yeah. by nice smiles of presenters coming <laughs> in. You know, looking at me, but like you know, get out. So <laughs> not, not necessarily like that. No, but in a nice diplomatic but it's 3 PM. way. Yes, it is, and, and we are punctual, set. aren't you? And the sun has set for Joyce <laughs> and for me. And yeah. we will maybe we'll continue this conversation next week. I yeah, think there's a should. lot to talk about Absolutely. it. I, I don't want to miss out on so many points. Absolutely. Joyce. Yeah, the sun sets week. here. My work's done. Beautiful see you next weekend week. to me and to you. See you next week. We're Nigeria Info. God bless you. Have a beautiful weekend. Bye bye. We're like gold diggers. Tunneling through the mishaps and the handicaps.